Oh, my sweet blank, blank, or blank. Those are your choices for what you're gonna be called. What do you wanna be called? What do you wanna be called? Let me know. Those are your choices, A, B, or C. Pick. Pick them. Hello, and welcome to a show I like to call Nerd. <laughs> Communicator on. I have so much movie news for you today, I'm like bursting at the seams. Let's just start. I'm gonna do a Dark Knight Rises thing right now, but it has spoiler pictures in it, so look away for 30 seconds if you don't wanna see. I don't think that they wanted to release this picture, but there's a picture of Batman's new vehicle. It looks so cool. And the pictures aren't just of the vehicle, they're of the vehicle accidentally crashing on set. There are super action-y accident pictures, woo, yay. And the vehicle looks like super menacing and maybe like it can walk, really, really cool. Anyway, and Hardcore Nerdity reports, Mike Myers is going to make an Austin Powers 4. How do you guys feel about this? Do you think that it should be more, more episodes should be added to the Austin P canon. I really loved the first movie. If they go back to a more simple version of the relationship between Dr. Evil and Austin Powers, I'm all for it. I hope that it'll be a little fresher than the last one. I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt and go, yeah, there's been a bit of time in between this one and the last one, so there could be lots of fresh ideas. What do you guys think? Do you like this or hate it? Next up, in dropout news, I'm calling it dropout news, but it's really just more movie news, but these are no, news, news, news about dropout diseases, about dropouts. These, these guys can't finish high school. So, dropout news number one. Bradley Cooper has dropped out of the remake of The Crow. Now, I know that previously I had expressed some disinterest in him playing this part, as I didn't think that he was a perfect fit. So, Relativity Media already has its eye on two potential recasts. They're thinking of either Mark Wahlberg, who was recently cast in the comic book adaptation of Two Guns, and Channing Tatum. After hearing this news, I would just like to say, Bradley Cooper, please come back. Please come back. Come back. Who do you think should play this part? I don't think Channing Tatum or Mark Wahlberg are right. You need to have someone like that's skinny and almost looks like a drug addict. Not someone like healthy and looks like they could punch a marine. What do you guys think? Tell me what you want. I actually still think that the part would be more interesting if they cast a woman instead of a man. It would change the whole story's dynamic and make it fresh and more interesting, I think. And Kate Beckinsale, I think, is a good choice. Dropout news number two. Justin Lin has dropped out of the director seat for the remake of The Highlander. Yes, they are remaking The Highlander. Justin Lin previously directed the Fast Five, you know, Fast and Furious movies, I think three of them. And he's apparently going to focus instead on directing the sixth, The Fast and the Furious. I kind of enjoyed that Fast Five, so go ahead and do it. Apparently, also potentially after that, he may direct the next Terminator movie in the franchise. Interesting. Who should direct The Highlander? What do you think? I mean, it would be totally cool, totally amazing if Christopher Nolan directed it, right? But if you guys have good suggestions for directors, leave them in the comments below. I would love to read. And who should play The Highlander? So interesting, there are so many actors. No one apparently has been tapped to play it yet. Sean Bean, I think is an obvious choice, but many people say he's too old. And who should replace Sean Connery, the very Scottish Sean Connery, as the Egyptian in the movie? Should it be a G? Should it be like the guy who played the mummy? Who should it be? Who should it be? There can be only one, only one. Speaking of there can be only one, apparently one of the ones Adrian Paul, who played Duncan McLeod in the TV show, my mother says, baby sat for me when I was a baby. Isn't that cool? The, one of the ones, one of the ones with his many powers is going like this to baby sass. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? In sad RIP news, John Wood, who played Falcon in War Games, has died. He was a great actor. I loved him in that part. He's had so many other great parts too. He was also in Lady Hawk. Go to Hardcore Nerdity. They have a little RIP bio. Yeah, I'd just like to say thanks, John Wood, for giving us that character in War Games, which I loved, and all of the rest of your amazing theater work too. RIP. In science news, possible UFO underwater discovery. Apparently a bunch of Swedish salvagers were in the waters between Finland and Sweden and they discovered a giant, perfectly round object about 300 feet below sea level. Apparently it's about 60 feet across and has a giant skid mark behind it. I wonder if it's a UFO. 
don't you guys? I, I want to find out what this is. Super exciting, super exciting, woo! And in random silliness, this is kind of sciencey too, Brian Ford has written a book and in it he claims that the Allies during World War II were plotting to poison Hitler with estrogen to make him more, pretty much to make him more nice. Do you think that would have worked? I don't. That is it for today. That is all the nerd news that I could squeeze into this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and will tell me what you want your name to be and I will give you kisses. Kiss kisses, arch, arch. And Eskimo kisses and little kisses and elephant kisses. And that's all. That's all for today, guys. I've enjoyed you. I hope that you've enjoyed me. I'm here to serve your nerd needs and be of service to you in that way. I'm just rambling, now I'm gonna go. Okay, bye.